So I'm standing in the forecourt of the Inugu Museum. These are steel structures that decorate the garden. It's a steel gallery of mostly abstract figures, uh, which are also intriguingly named. So they are a series of bell towers and then a series of tubular structures on steel girders with one solitary wooden piece, which is a denuded, a denuded natural sculpture that is called True Heroes. But beyond that, you have our steel bells. It seems that this entire space has been rescued from from the rainy season emergency grass. You can see the borders. So this particular sculpture has been wrested from the grass by a recent excavation by lawnmower. It's called Dry Bones Have Ears. And this are the ears of a dry bones, a bell tower which I'm going to yield to the temptation and ring very soon. Another series of bell tower to the right. And this is a staircase to nowhere called getting started and keeping going. You have shoe dummies here going right up to no bell. A play on words there, hope you notice. Another bell tower, a series of six bells. I'm sure these bells can ring. They're not just sculptures. That's the biggest bell tower. That is the one I'm going to ring. Even if it brings the Enugu Museum or curatorial staff on my head, I'm going to ring this one. There we go. It's designed not to ring. Well, I succeeded. There it is. A loud dong. And here's another one. I won't ring this one. That might be too childish. And this is one of the most interesting pieces here. It's called, it's called the Unknown Soldier. Well, not Unknown Soldier, Unknown. It has to be that abstract, don't you know? Unknown with three dots. It tells you everything. But the soldier is, has his walking stick because he has lost his limbs. And he has an AK-47, and there you have the a chain which represents the ammunition. He has, he's still very much a soldier on, with a grenade launcher, although he has no limbs left. I find this as one of the most uh, interesting unknown soldier sculptures I've seen. It's not the grandest, but I think it's the most realistic and the most uh, meaningful. I'll talk more about this later, but for now, this is the unknown soldier. And then this piece here is copri uh, in the spirit of a storm. A small detail, this had been blown over by yesterday's storm, the signboard, I put it up just before this video, in the spirit of a storm. And then, of course, I'm sure this goalpost here is not a sculpture. It's a, a testimony to the indomitable will of the locals to play football. Whether or not you take over their field, it's still, still linesmen and referees. And this I don't know, so I'll find out what it is. It's called COVID Variants 2021. That's how you know a sculpture garden is up to date. COVID Variants a word that did not exist in English language before, or so recently. And here, this yellow brilliance of steel, it's called aesthetics of power. Oh, that we may put this in Asorok and have the aspirants spiral into heaven in a time machine. There you go. A political message that says, so many things. Is this a spring supposed to elevate the aspirants into some power vacuum? Who knows? But there on top again, you can see the bell supposed to ring the occupying incumbents of power with the peals 
of the sound of a group misgoverned. What we have here is loud silence. I have a pneumatic hammer on top of this steel and fiber rubber. I see rubber here. Uh, the rubber is petrified rubber, but plenty of steel in evidence. Uh, and so that's called the loud, loud silence, 2020, uh, 2022. Another all steel piece with vengeance sitting in the, in the circular saw, right in the middle of it. Beneath it, a pilot's wheel, perhaps. It shall remain unknown and un, untitled. Here, we have a series of rings made in Germany, if you can see. Made in Germany. But if you want the title, I'll have to I'll have to rescue this from the from the impact of a storm, power of unity. Uh, and as, of course, as you can see, to achieve the unity of this sculpture, a lot of rims had to be shredded in pieces. This is a sacrifice you have to make to unity at the national level. The shredding of ambitions of the minorities. And here you have a lantern. It's called After the Rain. This is uh, reinforced by an anchor of stone. And what you have is a massive artisanal lantern. You will remember that here in Enugu, this town is famous, or this city, I beg your pardon, Enugu. This city is renowned for its artisanal uh, coal coal excavation history. And that is a fitting sculpture for the center of the garden. Here is Victory Through Praise, 2021. And again, another sculpture, Rising to the Skies. This is probably one of the tallest around. It looks, it looks uh, human. And then it's, uh, it's an alien species standing, holding a beacon to his, to his spaceship, perhaps. That's the beauty of abstract pieces that allow you to foist your imagination on the work of the artist. Hearing sheep, that's what this is called. I see no sheep, I see no ears, but somehow I think the artist heard his inspiration aloud. This is probably a few drums of water. I'm not sure now if this is art or abandoned jerry cans of petrol. But there you are, that's the title. It is art, all right. It's called Our Dancing Past. It's 2022. And then we're getting around to completing our circle, another series of bells here. And yes, I think we have completed our circles. There is a guitar in the distance. But before I get to the guitar, which will be our pièce de résistance, here is a fully functional, non-abstract four-wheel drive called the Hanoma Harbinger 1995. It's a customized Suzuki Jeep. And uh, this pretension to art once serviced the roads of Enugu. Uh, I'm sure that if I get my mechanic, he can get back on the road we'll do the heist of a night and have it serviced in Ogbete and restored to the road. It is ready with an extra tank of fuel and uh, the tires are still serviceable. I'll probably have to inflate that one. But yes, that is the Hanomag. And then, yes, this is the beauty. Awake and Sing 2021, a steel fabrication that is... Um, a guitar rising to the skies. I have only one regret to this piece. I wish it was a Kora. But otherwise, yes, that is the central piece in the Enugu Sculpture Garden that is located in the Enugu Museum.